let's look at the small angle formula. For objects at very far distances, sine and tan trigonometric functions of an angle in a right triangle can be approximated by the angle itself. For an example, we are looking at stars in the night sky from this observatory. These stars relative to the observatory are at very far distances, which meets part of the definition of our small angle formula. The other part says that the sine and tan trigonometric functions of an angle in a right triangle can be approximated by the angle itself. Let's find the right triangle. So if you look at the closely at the dashed yellow line, the orange line, and the red line, you'll see that they make a right triangle. The corner of the dashed yellow line and the orange line makes a 90 degree angle. The distance and angle between the two red lines is twice alpha, therefore half that is going to be equal to alpha. So let's take a look at our sine angle, our sine of alpha, and our tangent of alpha. The definition for small angle formula says for objects at very far distances, sine and tan trigonometric functions of an angle in a right triangle can be approximated by the angle itself. So what that means is we can approximate sine alpha and we can approximate tangent alpha by the angle itself of alpha. That's what the small angle formula is. So for example, we have our two stars Proxima Centauri and Alpha Centauri, and they are separated by a linear distance 2L. Therefore, the orange portion of the right triangle is just a single L. It's half the distance between Alpha Centauri and Proxima Centauri. If we take a look at the tangent of the angle, by definition, the tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent, which is going to be L over D. We're going to approximate the distance between the two stars and the observatory by D. Now the small angle formula says that we can replace tangent of alpha with alpha. So alpha will then equal to the linear distance divided by the physical distance from the observatory to the two stars. And this is one example of what we mean by the small angle formula.